In this video, we're going to see a very, um, very important uh, statement in SAS, and it's how to make SAS um, iterate over over a certain amount of things. So how to automate tasks in SAS, and this is the basis of uh, the, these these statements exist in, in most of well, all programming languages because it's how you get a computer to do things for you. Uh, and they are the the do statement. And in SAS, there are four ways the do statement can be used. It can be used by itself. And there's an iterative do statement, a do while statement, and a do until statement. So we're going to start off with um, using the do statement by itself. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger because uh, there's a bit of code that we're going to be writing here. So I'm going to create a new data set called age group, as we did in the previous video. And I'm going to keep the name, I'm going to keep the age group. And I'm going to create a new variable, which is uh, yes if the um, the observation is a minor and no otherwise. Um, so that's just my keep my keep option, which we've seen many a time. And I'm going to set the mat 008mmmjjj data set. Now I'm going to use an if statement, which we've seen in the previous video. If age is less than 18. Then and I'll normally I'd put a semicolon and I'd put a single statement on this line, but what we actually want here is to do various things. So we use a do statement. I'll then do um, age group equals child semicolon and minor yes no equals yes. Oops, sorry. And then we end with an end. So that end statement there ends that do statement. So in effect, everything here is just being uh, put into one single statement, which can then be um, evaluated if that if statement is true. Else do, so another one, I'm going to have um, age group equals um, adult and minor yes no equals no and then an end and then a run so we can use a single do statement to just um, put lots of statements into one basically so if I run that and we go to our work library the age group data set we see we have child adult and yes or no so that's a very very useful uh, statement, but it's not quite getting to the point where we're telling the computer to do stuff for us. So um, well, I'm going to create a, a similar data set, so I'll just write over this called data age candles, and I want to keep the name, the age, and a new variable called candles. So I'm going to set the MAT 008.mmmjjj data set and now we're going to see something a, a bit new so I initialize a variable candles um, to be 0 and then I do a do statement so do for some variable k equals 0 to age I'm just going to write out the code we'll take a look at it in a bit candles equals candles plus k and then end the do statement and then run that so remember think about the pdv so what the pdv does it comes to this state this variable picks up um, all the variables so name age as well as the others and then it creates space for this new variable candles but it does this calculation so it says okay candles is zero and then up until the variable age, so k is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up until the variable age, add k to candles. So in other words, um, every number of candles I had on my birthday cake, I add that to the total number of candles. If I run that, look at age candle, we see indeed someone that was 2 years old, um, they've used a total of 3 candles, so 1 on their first birthday, 2 on their second. Um, someone who's three years old, three, a total of six candles, three on their third birthday, two on their second, and one on their first. So that's a do iterative statement. That's a, a very powerful statement because it allows you to, to do very uh, many things. Now, what we're going to do in this uh, last two examples 
is look at the do until and the do while. The do iterative is great if you know exactly how where you want k to go, but you might not always know that. So I'm going to create a new data set called even numbers. Oh, shouldn't have a underscore there. So data set even numbers. And I'm going to initialize k to 0. And I'm going to initialize another variable even to be 0. And then I'm going to use my do until statement. So do until and then in brackets, I put um, a condition that uh, that the do loop will loop through until it's satisfied. And the do until, when using a do until statement, the validity of the expression is checked at the end of each loop. So it's important to keep that in mind um, when you want to make sure your code does exactly what you want it to do. So I want to create a data set that will output the first, uh, all the give me the number of even numbers less than 70. So until even is less than 70, I want you to say that even is simply 2 times k. And then I want k to increase by 1. OK? So the first loop, k will be 0, even will be 0. And then it checks at the end of the loop and goes, not even is not bigger than 70, so carries on. k is now 1. And then even is 2, and it keeps checking. Then k will be 2, even will be 4, etc., etc. So first of all, we need the end statement to, to finish the, the do. And it's when the code gets here that it checks the validity of that statement. And then a run statement. Oh, sorry. So if I run that, and we go to even numbers, we see there's 36 even numbers less than 70. Okay. Note I misspelled run, and SAS was qu good enough to pick it up for me. Okay. Um, we can also do this with a do while statement, and this is uh, very similar, uh, except that it checks the validity of the statement at the beginning of the loop. So do while. Oh, got to start off with um, data even numbers. K equals zero, so I'm initializing K. Even equals zero, I'm initializing zero, and then do while even is less than 70. So, and remember, this checks the validity of the expression at the beginning of the loop. So it'll come here. What's even? Ah, it's zero. So I'll do this, and then it'll do whatever it must do. So even is going to be two times K, and then K is going to increment to K plus one, and the do loop and a run statement to end our data step. So um, what will happen is even will be 0. So even will be less than 70. It will carry on. Even will then um, be 0 again. It will keep on carrying on and iterating. When k is uh, 30, even will be 60. It will check here. Even still less than 70. So it will carry on. And I've just overridden that data set, and it's obviously given us the, the same output. Okay, um, now one very final um, and important uh, tool in SAS is the output data set. What if I didn't want to just output the last one of these? So it's doing all these calculations before going into the PDV. What if I wanted them to go in the PDV and be output at every step? Well, that's relatively simple, so I'll just rewrite this code, do even numbers k equals 0, even e equals 0, and another my while loop, do while, even less than 70, so I'm just copying out the code again, even equals 2 times k, but now I want you to output everything. And all that does is, at this point, what's in the PDV is the data set is the variable even, which is twice k, and the variable k. So what output does, it says, yep, what what I've got, I want you to output it to the data set, even numbers. OK? k equals k plus 1, and, and the run statement. So if I run that, we'll see what we get, is that it's output 
at every step. So the output statement is a very powerful statement that allows you to control what what goes out. You could choose to only you could use the output statement in conjunction with if statement. So only output if there's a certain condition on even or on k. So in that video we've seen a lot of things. We've seen how to use the do statement by itself, how to use the do iterative statement, and how to use the do until and do while statements, which are um, are very similar.